All right, so we're actually out here September 3rd, 2010, walking the Zinfandel Vineyard uh, here on the property, the Pitts Home Ranch. And we're just taking a look at what's going on this year. And it's been a pretty challenging year, um, generally speaking. And you've heard me talk about that on my video blogs before. But what I'd like to talk about this morning is the concept of uneven ripening and Zinfandel. What you're going to look at is you're going to see a cluster here that is ripe. See all the little dimpled sugars? This, this cluster is very very ripe right now I mean this probably represents 16% uh, 15 and a half percent alcohol at least 15% right here um, and uh, you'll see right behind that cluster there's a green cluster that is barely even ripe and the concept is, is um, Zinfandel is so challenging to grow because of this uneven ripening that you really need to enter into the vineyard and multi harvest Zinfandel shave the fruit um, I walked through the vineyards um, three times, picking only the ripe clusters, leaving the green ones behind for another two or three weeks. And what that will do is it'll expedite the ripening of these uh, of these clusters left behind because this guy's just just been harvested. The vine will recognize that and send more energy to uh, to the remaining fruiting units, thereby concentrating the carbohydrates, expediting the uh, the ripening, and um, allowing us to make low alcohol, beautiful Zinfandel. That is, um, that's tasty, and that's what we're we're going for. One's night uh, nightly dinners ends. It's a, a rare concept. So um, when you guys come out to vineyards, you can kind of look uh, between uh, the clusters and the green as indicators of quality uh, wine grape. But I actually ask that you guys look on the ground, and on the ground is what's going to tell you all of the things that's been done to these vineyards to concentrate the flavors ultimately and aromas in the wines. These are all clusters that were dropped about a month ago. And these are all green clusters, and these clusters have all since dried up. But the concept is, is you see the leaves on the ground, all these different clusters that have been dropped. Fewer clusters or fewer pounds per vine, more concentration of the, uh, of the flavors. I mean, that's an easy concept to understand. Um, you know, you, you thin your tomatoes. The tomatoes that remain are darker, they're juicier, they ripen faster. That same theory applies with grapes. The challenge is, is that growers get paid by the pound. So it's not in their interest to go out there and lop off a bunch of fruit, whereas the winemakers want high quality fruit. And that generally uh, speaking requires us to go out and balance out the fruit. Drop fruit, pull leaves. You can see on the morning side all of the leaves have been pulled. And that is a good sign, especially in this cold, uh, cold crappy year that we're experiencing 2010. But looking on the ground, put your, put your detectives hat on, and you can see all the stuff that's been done. And that is what you want to look at, is the leaves and the fruit on the, on the ground, the number of times people have walked through and pulled leaves. You can see all of these clusters are completely exposed to that beautiful morning sunlight. And that's a, uh, that's a key thing. On the afternoon side, we leave some leaves a little bit more um, heavy to cover up. You can see here, cover up the uh, the clusters on the afternoon side. It's a way of protecting these clusters from burning. And that is, um, that's our Zinfandel. We're excited uh, to, to throw this out another year. Should be a good one, hopefully.